Hey everyone, really sad news. If you've ever watched Top Gun or Days of Thunder or my favorite, Crimson Tide, those were some of the movies that were directed by the man, this man, Tony Scott. Tony Scott killed himself. He jumped off a bridge in Los Angeles, 68 years old, and no one knows why. You're, this is the second, I mean... A friend of mine killed himself <clears throat> this year when I was at CES Consumer Electronics Show. I got the call that he did it. 50 years old. And why, I do not know. Leaves behind two sons, just as Tony Scott had done. Tony Scott also left behind his wife, Donna. Donna W. Scott. Beautiful lady. Uh, something happened. You would think, was it financial? Well, I, first of all, there's nothing you can't fix if you stay alive to fix it. Period. Yeah, you let the Lord take you. Let not don't take yourself out. Anyway, financially, Tony Scott was doing fine. He was actually partnered with his brother Ridley Scott. If you didn't know that, Ridley Scott is the director and producer of one of my current favorite movies, Prometheus, and the Alien series. They were partnered something like what, 27 years, 37 years, excuse me, partnered together. And the movies have done very well. He was actually also preparing a sequel to Top Gun, Top Gun 2. Getting together Bruckheimer's and, of course, Tom Cruise and Tony Scott hadn't made a movie together in 25 years. That was in the planning stages. Something happened. I hope it's not... Something like he has discovered that his wife was fooling around. I don't know. I read an incredible interview done by Ariel Lebe of the Sunday Times in London. Why the Sunday Times? And when was it done? About seven years ago. Because Tony Scott said that the Sunday Times goes back to when he was little. He never missed it. And he never missed reading it. So he felt honor bound. Tony Scott was loved in Hollywood. They, they, the saying was that, according to the interview, which was really a great one, that Tony Scott, that Ridley Scott was respected and liked, but Tony Scott was loved by everybody. Self-effacing. But he was also an adrenaline junkie. At 61 years old, the time when Ariel interviewed him, he was, had just finished climbing El Capitan. He described himself as the kind of person who lives on the edge. And he's also... Described himself as a workaholic and he sleeps three hours a night. That was at 61. He's 68 today when he passed on. And But he also said that he wasn't at home very much. And that was telling to me and that the wife was with her yoga instructor, met Ariel, and then disappeared. Words that she used, Ariel, to describe how Donna kind of veered off after giving her coffee. Something happened to drive this man to... Not just do this once, but reportedly, according to Deadline, Nikki uh, Fink's blog, twice in the same day. He tried the first time, he wasn't successful, reportedly. Reportedly. And the second time, unfortunately, sadly, really he was. Tony Scott, a talent. Rest in peace. What? Why would you do this? Why does a person kill themselves? Why would Tony Scott kill himself? I, I just don't 